legal search using party name. Legal search allows you to search on a specific field or a combination of fields, which the case laws on Manupatja have been divided into. Now, these can be specific information like the appellant respondent name, the judge's name, the citation, the subject, or the acts, rules, or orders um, that have been used in the judgment. Now, again, you can also search these judgments on legal search by party name by using the TOC, that is our table of contents as a feature, as in selected which code or which timeline you want from there. Um, also, while using legal search, there are no mandatory fields of information that you need to enter and you can use multiple fields as per the information that you already have. I'll just illustrate this in a minute. Now, as you can see, here's the template of our legal search. You can enter any of these fields mentioned. You can enter the name of the applicant respondent, the honorable judge. Um, also, the case summary, if you have like a proposition that you're looking for that you know is in the judgment, you can select the subject from here, which is a set of 50 subjects predetermined in which our case laws have been divided into. And then you can enter your subset. Now, for corporate law, if you're searching for, and then you search for um, directors, you know, rights, something like that. Now, also, you can search on date or the range of date. If you know the judgment came, like if you know the judgment came in July of 2018, now you can just select that. Or if you know that it came on 23rd of July 2018. You can also select that. Now, how this exactly works, I'll just show you on a demo on our Malpatra website. To access legal search on the Manupatra website, um, when you open Manupatra, you can go to legal search tab here. Now, once you've entered here, you see the same interface that I've touched on you. Now, to use the table of contents, you can select, you know, from here, like if I just want to look at Supreme Court judgments, I would just do that. Again, if I go beyond, I can also select the timeline that I'm looking at. Okay, so I do not have a specific timeline that I'm setting. I'm just setting Supreme Court. Okay, now I know like one of the um, party names was uh, Meena Warrior. That is the only information I have. I do not have the judge's name. I do not have the subject. I do not have anything else. I do not even have a range of judgments. So just the party name and I've just, I just know it's a Supreme Court judgment. And I run my search. Okay, let's see if it comes up with this. This is exactly the result that I was looking for. So even if you have one bit of information that you're sure about, you can use legal search and find that relevant result. If you have more fields of information, you can enter all of it and you will get the relevant result. To recap the feature, it allows you to search on a specific field or combination of fields according to a case law. You can also select the combination of code here, as I showed you from the table of contents and search it. You can search using multiple fields or an individual field as there are no mandatory fields to be entered. I really hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries, you can write to us in the comment section below or at contact at manupatra.com. Thank you so much.